The wildlife of Costa Rica comprises all naturally occurring animals, fungi and plants that reside in this Central American country. Costa Rica supports an enormous variety of wildlife, due in large part to its geographic position between the North and South American continents, its near-tropical climate, and its wide variety of habitats. Costa Rica is home to more than 500,000 species, which represents nearly 4% of the total species estimated worldwide, making Costa Rica one of the 20 countries with the highest biodiversity in the world. Of these 500,000 species, a little more than 300,000 are insects. One of the principal sources of Costa Rica's biodiversity is that the country, together with the land now considered Panama, formed a bridge connecting the North and South American continents approximately 3 to 5 million years ago. This bridge allowed the very different flora and fauna of the two continents to mix. Biodiversity Costa Rica is considered to possess the highest density of biodiversity of any country worldwide. While encompassing just one third of a percent of Earth a Euro unregistered trademark S landmass, approximately the size of West Virginia, Costa Rica contains 4% of species estimated to exist on the planet. Hundreds of these species are endemic to Costa Rica, meaning they exist nowhere else on Earth. These endemic species include frogs, snakes, lizards, finches, hummingbirds, gophers, mice, cyclades, and gobies among many more. Costa Rica Euro unregistered trademark S biodiversity can be attributed to the variety of ecosystems within the country. Tropical rainforests, deciduous forests, Atlantic and Pacific coastline, cloud forests, and mangrove forests are all represented throughout the 19,730 square miles of Costa Rica Euro unregistered trademark S landmass. The ecological regions are 12 climatic zones. This variation provides numerous niches which are filled by a diversity of species. Equals benefits for humanity equals, Costa Rica demonstrates biodiversity conservation for developing countries. Over 27% of the county Euro unregistered trademark S land has a protected status as national parks, wildlife refuges, forest preserves, and more. The Costa Rican government is active in protecting its biodiversity for the ecological services they provide. The government imposes a 5% tax on gasoline to generate revenue to pay landowners to refrain from clear cutting on their land and instead to create tree plantations. This provides Costa Ricans, or a Euro OE ticos a Euro as they call themselves, incentive to become active tree farmers instead of cattle ranchers. Tree farms provide some habitat for wildlife, enabling some measure of biodiversity to remain in these areas despite humans a Euro unregistered trademark use of these natural resources. Costa Rica Euro unregistered trademark S biodiversity contributes to the numerous ecological services the environment provides. Every aspect of the ecosystem from the different species of plants to the diversity of animal species contributes to natural services like water purification, provision of food, fuel, fiber, and biochemicals, nutrient cycling, pollination and seed dispersal, and climate regulation, just to name a few. As the diversity of species increases, more of these services can be provided and to a greater extent. Biodiversity has contributed to the economy of Costa Rica. Ecotourism brings in $1.92 billion in revenue for the country. Ecotourism is defined as tourism directed toward exotic, often threatened, natural environments, especially to support conservation efforts and observe wildlife. Costa Rica's abundant biodiversity makes the country an attractive destination for ecotourism. 39% of tourists cite nature as their primary reason for visiting the country. The profitable industry of ecotourism entices businesses to capitalize on natural resources by protecting and preserving them rather than consuming them. Equals threats to biodiversity equals threats to Costa Rica Euro unregistered trademark S biodiversity include a rapidly growing human population developing coastlines for the industry of tourism and harmful agricultural practices all contributing to pollution and environmental degradation. The practice causing the largest concern for Costa Rica Euro unregistered trademark S environment is deforestation. Costa Rica has the fourth highest rate of deforestation in the world. 
almost 4% of its current forested lands are cut each year. Clearing land for cattle ranching is the most common cause of deforestation. This form of environmental damage along with the farming of the monocultures leads to areas where only a few species of plants are present. Ultimately, decreases in plant diversity leads to decreased animal diversity. Insects equals butterflies and moths equals there are about 1,251 species of butterflies and at least 8,000 species of moths. Butterflies and moths are common year-round but are more present during the rainy season. 10% of known butterfly species worldwide reside in Costa Rica. Costa Rican butterflies and moths have made amazing adaptations to the environment. Some examples of these are the following. Swallowtail caterpillars imitate bird droppings and many others have bright colors to warn predators of bodily toxins. What someone could easily mistake for a butterfly, a wasp, or a leaf in Costa Rica might be a moth engaging in ma one quarterly and or Batasian mimicry. Ecotourism is one of Costa Rica Euro unregistered trademark as primary economic resources, and the country's butterflies add a lot to that. They bring life to rainforests, not only with the diversity in color, but with the magnificence of the flowers that they help pollinate. Some common butterflies and moths in Costa Rica include, Thor's swallowtail, Marpesia berenia, Doxocopa lama, banded peacock, zebra longwing, morpho butterfly, green page moth, glasswing. Some notable insects in Costa Rica are stingless bees and sweat bees such as Elphigrisi and Elanina aventa, ants such as leaf cutter ants and army ants. Hercules beetle, and many katydids. Other invertebrates, invertebrate species make up most of Costa Rica Euro unregistered trademark S wildlife. Of the estimated 500,000 species, about 493,000 are invertebrates. It is known that there are tens of thousands of insects and microscopic invertebrates in every land type and elevation level. However, they are largely unnoticed or unidentified. There are known 183 species and subspecies of terrestrial gastropods from Costa Rica and numerous freshwater gastropods and bivalves. Amphibians Costa Rica is home to around 175 amphibians, 85% of which are frogs. Frogs in Costa Rica have interesting ways of finding fishless water to raise their young in fish, of course, will eat tadpoles and eggs. Poison dart frogs put their eggs in water pools in bromeliads. Other methods include searching ponds before laying eggs, and laying eggs in wet soil. There are 35 species of Eleutherodactylus frogs, 26 species of Hilla frogs and 13 species of glass frogs. Notable frog species in Costa Rica include red-eyed tree frog, a few species of poison dart frogs, the semi-transparent glass frogs, and the large smoky jungle frog. Some other notable toad species in Costa Rica include the ten species of bufo toads and the giant toad, a huge toad known for its wide appetite. It has been documented eating almost anything, including vegetables, ants, spiders, any toad smaller than itself, mice, and other small mammals. Besides the frog species, approximately 40 species of lungless salamander and two species of Carisillian are found in the country both rarely seen and little known. Costa Rican amphibians range in size from the rainforest rocket frog, at 1.5 cm, to the giant toad, at up to 15 cm and 2 kg, representatives of all three orders of amphibians, caricillians, salamanders, and frogs and toads, reside in Costa Rica. Due to environmental degradation and the sensitive nature of amphibians to pollution, Costa Rica has seen declines and even extinctions in amphibian populations. Monteverde Cloud Forest Reserve is a critical habitat for certain species of the order Anura. However, 40% of the members of this order that reside in this reserve are estimated to have gone extinct since 1987. This equals 20 species of frogs and toads. The highland-dwelling golden toad, Bufo pyriglines, has not been witnessed in its highly restricted habitat at the central mountain ranges of Costa Rica since 1989. Within one year, the number of juveniles counted at their most prevalent breeding site declined from over 1,500 individuals to only one. The International Union for the Conservation of Nature declared the golden toad endangered, 
but it is likely extinct due to the lack of sighting since over two decades ago. Suspected causes for the toad's probable extinction include a combination of intense El Niño weather patterns which resulted in a drought, increased pollution added to the environment, climate change, and an invasive fungal species, Shirokai harlequin. Amphibians in Costa Rica have acquired many adaptations for survival. Some frog species, especially those of the poison dart frogs, have learned to lay eggs in water devoid of predatory fish. For some species this means laying eggs in small collections of water in the leaf litter, then transporting the eggs to bromeliads. Other species have adapted the ability of direct development. This means that the frog develops completely inside the egg without transitioning to the tadpole phase. This decreases vulnerable exposure to predators and the frog emerges from its egg as a froglet, much better equipped to protect itself. Reptiles Approximately 225 reptiles are found in Costa Rica. This includes over 70 species of lizards, mostly small, forest-dwelling animals. Large lizards such as the striped basilisk, black iguana and green iguana are probably the country's most regularly encountered reptiles. Snakes number about 120 species in the country, including five powerful boas and a wide diversity of harmless colubrids. There are about 20 venomous snakes, including colorful coral snakes and various vipers such as the common eyelash viper and two formidable, large bushmasters. The venomous snakes of Costa Rica are often observed without issue if given a respectful distance. Among turtles, five of the world's seven species of sea turtles nest on the nation's beaches. Two crocodilians, the widespread spectacled caiman and the large, sometimes dangerous American crocodile are found in Costa Rica. The country's reptiles range in size from the delicate 15 cm halal centipede snake of the Tantilla genus to the hulking leatherback turtle, at 500 kg and 150 cm. Mammals Costa Rica is home to nearly 250 species of mammal. Medium-sized forest-dwelling mammals are often the most appreciated mammalian fauna of the country. These include four species of monkeys such as the frantic white-headed capuchin and noisy mantled howlers. Two species of sloths. The opportunistic white-nosed coati. And the fierce predator, the tyra. Bats comprise more than half of the mammal species in the country, unusually outnumbering rodents twice over. Bats are adapted to various foraging methods and foods, including nectar, fish, insects and parasitized blood as the case with the infamous vampire bats. Prominent bats include the tiny, communal roosting Honduran white bat and the huge, predatory spectral bat, the largest New World bat. Large fauna, such as tapir, jaguar, and deer are rarely encountered, being both elusive and tied to now fragmented undisturbed habitats. Costa Rican mammals range in size from the 3 gram thumbless bat of the Fleuropteridae family to the 250 kg Baird's tapir. Ant eaters are common in lowland and middle elevation throughout Costa Rica. The most commonly seen of Costa Rica's three ant eaters species is the northern Tamangia. The giant ant eater is huge and endangered. The other ant eater is the silky ant eater. Wild cats Wild cats that exist in Costa Rica are jaguars. Ocelots, pumas, jagrandi, margays, and little spotted cats. Most big cats in Costa Rica are nocturnal or hide in trees in the rainforest like the margao. The most likely place to find a big cat is in the Simon Bolivar Zoo in San Jose Copyright, Costa Rica where there is a selection of all the native big cats along with other animals. Ocelots usually hunt on the ground at night and rarely climb trees. An ocelot's diet consists of birds, monkeys, rats, and other small animals. The little small cat is the smallest wild cat and does not grow bigger than a house cat. They live in cloud forests up to 3200 m. The jaguar is the largest wild cat in Costa Rica and can grow up to 2 m. They are very rare in Costa Rica and their numbers continue to decline drastically. The jaguarandi does not look like a cat but more like a cross between a weasel and a cat. It is plain grey with a sleek body, hunts day and night, and has adapted best to human changes. 
The margao spends most of its life in trees and is the best cat climber because it can twist its ankle 180 a degree. The puma is the second largest cat in Central America and its fur is brown and unspotted. They used to be black panthers in Costa Rica but they became extinct from the area. Birds 894 bird species have been recorded in Costa Rica, more than all of the United States and Canada combined. More than 600 of the Costa Rican species are permanent residents, and upwards of 200 are migrants, spending portions of the year outside of the country, usually in North America. Seven of the Costa Rican species are considered endemic, and 19 are globally threatened. Costa Rica's birds range in size from the scintillant hummingbird, at 2.2 grams and 6 centimeters, to the huge jabiru, at 6.5 kilograms and 150 centimeters. Scarlet macaws are a common species of Costa Rica. Unlike many bird species, macaws form a monogamous breeding pair and mate for life. Both males and females help care for young and raise chicks for up to two years before they fledge. Threats to the macaw include their popularity in the pet trade. One individual can be sold for up to $1,000. The resplendent quetzal, a trigon with a stunning physical appearance, can also be found in parts of Costa Rica. The bird's long gray and black tail feathers can stretch up to a meter long and are its defining feature. Resplendent quetzals live in cloud forests and are most active in the canopy. They can be found in several of Costa Rica's parks and reserves, including the Monte Verde Cloud Forest, Santa Elena Cloud Forest Reserve, Braulio Carrillo National Park, Poas Volcano National Park, Chiripo National Park, and the Juan Castro Blanco National Park. Resplendent quetzals eat fruit, insects, small frogs, lizards, and snails and have distinctive echoing calls. Unfortunately, the bird is endangered because its cloud forest habitat has been widely destroyed across Central America. Hummingbird species demonstrate adaptation with bill shape and size. Certain species have specialized bills that allow them to feed from the flowers of certain species of plants. The relationship between the hummingbird and plant is mutualistic because the hummingbird transfers pollen between plant individuals in exchange for nectar. Because different species of hummingbirds are adapted to specific plants, pollination of the right plants with the right pollen is ensured. The mangrove hummingbird is endemic to Costa Rica and specializes in feeding from the tea mangrove plant. Costa Rican officials have explored the possibility of shutting down their national zoos in an effort to demonstrate a more advanced appreciation for the wildlife in their country. See also, Instituto Nacional de Biodiversidad, Deforestation in Costa Rica. References External links, Organization for Tropical Studies